Yo! <laughs> What's up, y'all? On today's video, I'm gonna be talking about something that hasn't really been talked about a lot. I'm gonna be talking about the influence that Tony Parker and Steve Nash have had on the NBA. In order for you to easily see how Steve Nash and Tony Parker have influenced the game, all you gotta do is watch some of today's premier point guards. And it's not just point guards, it's all kinds of guards. We're gonna see various players ranging from little 6'1 or so Trey Young, all the way up to someone like LeBron James using some of these European style moves that we've seen Nash and Tony Parker in the past use. Now we're gonna start the video showing you some footage of Steve Nash and exactly what I'm talking about as well as Tony Parker and then I'm gonna show you some footage of players today that are using those moves on a day-to-day -day basis and some of the premier ones too that use this as part of their arsenal moves that they go into the bag to get whenever it calls for it. Let's start the footage with Tony Parker. Here we see Tony Parker dribbling against a much faster and stronger LeBron James. He hits him with a quick in and out and then goes to the basket jumping off the off foot in order to catch LeBron off guard. We see him doing this same move to Joel Anthony. We are going to reference this clip later when other guys are using it. Let's cut to Steve Nash real quick. Here we have Nash using the first step to get by the defender while keeping the defender on his right hip so that he can use his left hand to extend and finish with an underhand scoop. This move displays excellent knowledge of body positioning in order to prevent a defender from blocking you. He also uses the off foot layups as you can see here. You can see him using positioning again here to put the defender on his backside and keep him there so he cannot recover to block him. Even this subtle pro move is something that a lot of guards like Kyrie and McCullen are using. Finally, we see him using a combination of the underhand scoop with the off foot extended layup as you can see. Now look at some examples. Here we have Shai Alexander using the underhand extended scoop as well as the same foot method followed by Seth Curry. We then move on to Kyrie and ooh, <laughs> cook him Kyrie. Kyrie's game is so fun to watch. Here we see him using the same off foot layup after cooking dude. We see Kemba using it. We see Trey Young using it. And just for reference, here is Steve Nash again. Steph is also an avid user of the off or same foot layup. These guys have all taken these moves from Nash and Tony Parker. Here, we can even see Steph Curry doing this reverse spin move between defenders the way that Tony Parker does. Dennis Schroeder is probably the most similar to Tony Parker that we have on this list, so I'm going to play him and Parker back to back. Schroeder is very, very fast, and once he gets that first step on you, he makes sure you cannot block him by sneaking that underhand layup in very quickly. Here we see some more Parker footage of him doing this to various defenders around the NBA. Tony Parker was an incredible finisher. I remember years when it was either him or LeBron leading the league in points in the paint, and the guy is a point guard who's about six feet tall. My goodness. Now, here we have some more examples. Isaiah Thomas is tiny, so he definitely was smart to pick up these moves from these Euro stop players. Now, we look at the league's most dangerous scorer of the past few years. I'm not a big fan of his flopping, but Harden has many tricks up his sleeves. He is also a big user of the same foot, off foot layup. Finally, I'm going to end the video with this side step back short jump shot that Nash used to use. This is another example of Steve Nash knowing how positioning and momentum can affect the player's ability to block his shot. This is something LeBron took from Nash and used it heavily in his Miami day, but he also used it in Cleveland and now with the Lakers. We also see LeBron using the same foot layup here and shielding the defender off at the same time trying to sneak that layup in to prevent players from blocking you. All right, guys, that's the video. Thank you for tuning in. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. If you're already part of the channel and you did subscribe, please consider hitting the notification bell so that anytime that I release a new video, you get notified. If you like what you've seen, if you like the content, if you found it valuable, if you learned something new, please hit the like button, share the video. The question I have for you today is, do you agree with me that Steve Nash and Tony Parker have definitely changed the game and have influenced guard play in the NBA today drastically? Not just Tony Parker and Steve Nash, Nash because these guys both played overseas but just Euro basketball in general. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Anyways, this is the end of the video. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.